the design of prosthetics offers a great parable for innovation today. Consider, for all the invention that surrounded the knee itself, creating new ways of mimicking the way a human knee moves, there's been relatively little attention paid to the socket, which is the molded cup that meets the residual limb. Even the best molded cup is uncomfortable wear for anything longer than a few hours. One company that we found taking a really bold look at the problem was Lim. Well, in many cases, designers try to put themselves in the place of the user. Let's say you're designing something for somebody who is blind, you might be able to close your eyes and imagine what it might be like to be blind, but you can't take your leg off. Uh, so we built uh, this rig, it's called the Empathy Rig. What it does is it gives designers who are not amputees insight around what it's like to carry your, your weight of your body up under your tailbone. We've created a rig where we can interchange the seat parts very quickly and understand what feels more comfortable, what's giving support, what's giving control. The thigh is meant to transfer weight down to the foot, but upon losing a limb at the thigh level, you now have a distal stump that is not accustomed to bearing weight. What we're capable of doing is a almost bicycle seat type concept, or an ischial seat we call it. In the traditional socket, this purpose is integrated into an entire frame. With the limb infinite socket, we've essentially isolated that, that functional purpose into one aspect of our socket and tried to optimize it. The main frame is based on a thermoplastic carbon fiber, which is selected for the performance that those materials bring. The carbon fiber struts come as in large sheets and we water cut them to specific sizes. And from a digital file of a residual limb, we capture certain portions of that surface and create a digital representation and mold the carbon fiber to that representation. The limb is dynamic. Different portions of the limb also change on a day-to-day -day basis. Residual limbs fluctuate about 10% in volume over an extended period of time. With the infinite socket, we've built in adjustability to essentially become a dynamic device. We took a lot of inspiration from the athletic industry, specifically snowboard boots in terms of how they conformed around the limb, especially their ratcheting buckle system. There's a brim at the top which serves as a soft tissue interface and that has an adjustability to it. These are parts of the brim, the internal parts. The ischial seat mechanism slides into this portion of the brim. One of the engineering feats was to, we needed tension here and at the top, figured out a little triangulation so this outside brim gets these macro adjustment buckles which allows us to tension the, the entire thing with one single ratchet. Well, the first time I put it on, um, it felt like a shoe or a baseball glove or something that you would want to put on every day. And I walked all over San Francisco. Companies like Lim offer good proof of the maxim that design isn't just about creating some fancy new object. Rather, it's about finding the right problem to solve. And in this case, solving that problem immediately improves a life.